Happy Tinder, and you're taking a look at some of my hamstring training at the Montanary Powerhouse Gym in New Haven. I'm currently 10 weeks out from the Miss Physique Olympia competition, and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about my leg training, um, but more specifically about my leg training in the off-season. Um, so this off season, one of the things I really wanted to focus on was bringing a little bit more density and thickness to my legs. Um, my legs really have always been one of my standout body parts. Um, but last year when I, you know, look back at my pictures from the Olympia, um, I noticed that they definitely could use a little bit more thickness, um, just about everywhere. So I actually recruited the help from John Meadows. Um, he is the creator of Mountain Dog Training, and uh, Mountain Dog Training was something I had been doing for uh, the last five to six years on and off. So I contacted John, I let him know that I needed to make some serious improvements in my lower body, and he was more than happy to help me out with an amazing program. So I did in the off season his uh, Sentinel program. Um, and the way that that program is set up is you're doing legs um, high frequency. So, you know, there's three different phases in the training program. Each phase is, uh, I believe it's four weeks for each phase. And in that first phase, you're training legs three days a week. Now, with frequency that high, um, the volume of each workout was lower. Um, so, you know, you think, oh, th legs three days a week, how are you ever going to recover? Um, I kind of had the same train of thought going into the program. I was a little worried about recovery. Um, but the way that the training program is set up, um, it's just enough volume and just enough intensity on those three days so that you are able to recover. Um, I think that training that style in the off-season when I was in a calorie surplus certainly helped me put on some size this off season. Um, I think the place where I made the most improvements this year was most definitely my legs and I really attribute that to my off season training in that high frequency leg training. So within those three phases I started phase one I did legs, phase two I did back which you know I went into back doing three days a week during that phase and then I switched back to legs. Um, so I did that high frequency training for two rounds in that training program. Um, and I really found that even though I wasn't doing super long, super intense workouts, um, the way that he had that training set up really accelerated the growth of my legs. Um, and now another thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is when you decide what you're gonna work on on the off season. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, what did the judges say to you after the Olympia? And I have always been a person that when it comes to the judges and feedback and what I need to work on, I generally never ask the judges for their feedback. Um, and the reason for that is, A, I'm in a division that's constantly evolving. And B, you know, I find that when you try and chase what a judge wants from you, you may end up with a package that you yourself are not happy with. And in the end, if you're not happy with the package that you're presenting on stage, you're not going to radiate on stage. You're not going to be as proud as you possibly could if it was a package that you were really happy with. So. I find that I am most successful when I don't worry about what the judges want and I look at the pictures myself and I decide how I want to look on that day. Um, and when I'm able to create myself in the shape and form that I'm proud of and that I want to see on stage, I'm so much happier and I have such a better experience on stage and I'm also a lot more successful. And I think a lot of that has to do with when you're happy with yourself and your look, you're gonna put so much more effort into everything that you do. Um, when you're trying to strive for what somebody else wants out of you, you may not put your whole heart into it because it's not genuinely what you want to do with your body. So when you're competing, 
No, I guess it's okay to get the advice from judges, but my best advice is, you know, look inside yourself and what you want to present on stage, and then you're going to radiate when you're up there. Thanks, guys. Until next week.